And you know how caterpillars, there are, I suppose there are a few moth or butterfly caterpillars that are able to all pupate together. Uh, there, there's some of the, of the moths and uh, some of the moths mostly that are communal caterpillars and they'll all pupate together. But generally they're a lot bigger than these. Now I'm going to put them here against the steering wheel where you can see they've all hatched. I can see mo the, the holes in all of, pretty much all of them where the little cap has been opened and the insect has become an adult and it has flown away, a flying adult. Now these are not eggs, these are silk cocoons. Got something, oh that's the stick, the dark in the middle there. It's just the stick showing through. And these are a wasp species that as larva they were actually eating out the inside of a caterpillar of a moth. The caterpillar would have been about this big. And it probably would have swallowed the eggs of this wasp who would have laid an egg. I and mean, if you imagine that these tiny little capsules, which are all of, what's that? Just over a millimeter, maybe a millimeter and a half, two millimeters at the most. How each one of those little cocoons has produced an adult insect. So the egg of that thing is so, so tiny that it actually gets swallowed by the caterpillar. And then the, the larva of the wasp hatches out inside the caterpillar and they actually start eating it alive. And it still carries on eating and carries on eating and then the larva of this wasp just eventually affect the caterpillar in such a way, especially when they get to the brain. I know it sounds gruesome, but it is. This is science fiction in real life. This is um, weird stuff. But anyways, they, it affects the brain that the caterpillar doesn't spin a cocoon because if the caterpillar were to spin a cocoon, then these adult wasps would probably get stuck because it would be a much heavier, much denser type of silk. So it affects the brain so that the caterpillar doesn't spin a cocoon and then they, as larva, will hatch out of the back of the dead caterpillar and then they will, as they hatch out as larva, they turn into a pupa and they spin their own cocoons and it's only about 24 to 36 hours later that they become adults very fast meta uh, metamorphosis, what we call a parasitic or super parasitic wasp. It'll just inject an egg into the body of a caterpillar or other and other insects. Sometimes there are parasitic wasps that will just lay an egg on the body on the body of a spider and that larva will then burrow into and eat that that prey alive virtually.